Hello friends, in latest videos I created two projects, one with uh, React, a CRUD, a post CRUD with file upload and one with a view. And I'm going to do the same thing but with LiveWire. And with LiveWire it's going to be a little bit different because LiveWire is not inertia. We don't need to create, uh, for example, a controller just to render the blade or just render the view. We can create one live wire component, and with that live wire, for example, the create live wire component, that live wire component is going to render the display the form, and it's going also is going to handle the logic to store a new post. So we are going to see. For now, let's create the project and set up pose uh, model and migration and also create the live wire components so i'm going to open here i have the live wire you can go and read the documentation okay so here on the terminal i'm going to say laravel new and uh, let's name this a uh, live wire stack okay you can name it what you like I'm going to choose LiveWire, of course. Laravel's built in. And would you like to use Laravel Vault? Uh, I'm going to choose no because uh, some people don't like Vault. Vault is we have the view, we have also the PHP class in the same file. But let's choose now so we can have one class and one, uh, one component for the class and one component just for the blade. Okay. Yes, around the npm run build for our project, and now we need a CD in the live wire stack. And I'm going to open this project with a VS Code, or let's open with PHP Storm. So I'm going to open the PHP Storm and open this project with PHP Storm. Okay, so here we have. Uh, if I see now. Let me just inside the app. We have live wire, we have auth, and here we have login class. And then in the resources, we have views and also live wire. And here we have auth. Now we separated the blade with the PHP class. If you if you want the work with vault you can choose the vault option and you can have the class and the blade in the same file okay let's close this let's close this uh, also let's close this one and i'm going to open the project in here so live wire stack and here is the project which is similar to react the design if i click here and just I'm going to say Tony TonyExample.com add a password OK and yeah we can go to settings and here we have profile appearance and the password OK now let's create the post model migration modify the migration and also create uh, modify the model post model and also the user because we need to have a relationship so for that i'm going to open the terminal and run the artisan or i have alias so artisan make model name it post and also i'm going to add the flag dash m for the migration and now we have post model and migration let's open the post migration first and here i'm going to add the dollar sign table for the title which is going to be string then for the slug uh, not body here is going to be content you can add body but because i just added uh, content on other i'm going to add content and i'm going to say for the slug is going to be unique then what we need is also the email so that we say the assign table not timestamp but string for the image here like this 
and I think we are good. Now let's close and let's open the post model. Let's add protected, not table, but yeah, let's say guarded to be an empty array. And then I want the user relation, which is going to be belongs to relationship. And here, let's return this post is going to belong to the user. Okay, now let's open the user and do the same thing. So user model, I'm going to scroll down. And yeah, we have this initials function. Now let's create a method here, public function post. And now the user is that it has many posts. So let's say the return type is has many. And we can say return this user has many posts. Okay. Now let's open the terminal and create the live wire components we need. So what we need is the index, uh, post index component. There we can uh, display a table with all the posts. So let's say artisan, make live wire, and the name is going to be post index, or I'm going to add that in post directory and name it post index. Okay, so the component is going to be inside the post directory, the name post index. Hit enter. As you can see, we have inside the live wire, we have this post directory and then post index. Or uh, let me just delete this. I forgot the not post, single one. I prefer to have a plural. So let's do the same thing, but just now change that to post plural. Okay. We created the post index, the same thing for the, now let's name it this uh, creator store. I personally like the create more. Sorry. So create and the post create is done. Now let's do the same thing for the update or edit. I'm going to name it edit, but you can name it update or what you like. Okay. Open the web routes and register the routes now. So web PHP. And here let's register our routes. I'm going to say route middleware out and verified and also group and here let's say route get for the post or we can say slash post here and for this one I'm going to use the post index live wire component and give it the name okay that's it how we can register the route for a uh, for live wire component. Now let's do the same thing for the create and the edit. So route get pause and let me just say slash pause slash create and for this one I'm going to use the pause create from the live wire and also assign a name post create and the last one is the route for the edit get all the routes now are get because we're going to get a component and then the logic is going to be in the post index class okay so route get slash post slash we need to bind the post here and I'm going to say edit and use the post edit live wire component and now we are okay now because we have this post index and all the components let's add the link here so to navigate the post and i'm going to open components layouts we have the app layout but here we have just 
point in the layouts up sidebar so let's go to up and sidebar and here i want to add a new let's close this new link and here we have the link for the dashboard as you can see okay i'm going to copy and duplicate this and yeah let's change the route which is going to be post dot index and if the current is posts dot and i'm going to add all here and say post like this now for the icon i'm going to use and let me just show you i'm going to use this book open which we have for the documentation and uh, let me just see yeah book open text so let's copy that and paste it here and as you can see here we have a flux which is uh, like shatcn but for the live wire you can find many components there uh, some are free but if you want full you need to pay for that but all the components which are free we have here now let's refresh and we have the polls if i click here nothing changed but if i open the post index and just add something so for example a post index and we have here the post index okay friends that's it all about this video the setup for the level with live wire crowd with file upload now if you like such a videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much